Welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I'm David Korshid. Right now, we're going to break down a technique used in the uh, contact form radio button transition uh, video. You can check out the full live stream uh, to see exactly how we built everything. All right, so let's take a look at the clip path animation for, uh, for the radio buttons, which is that cool little fill in effects that you see there. First of all, all of these radio buttons have a border radius of 50%, which makes it a perfect circle. So if we took that out, you're going to see that it's a square. It's important to note that because uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a uh, whether it has a radius or not, this uh, polygon is still going to work exactly the same. Um, and speaking of the polygon, here is the polygon that we're talking about down in line 113. So uh, each of these you could consider a point in this case a rectangle because we have four points um, but this first value is the x value the second value is the y value so when we say zero hundred percent we are saying the left which is zero and a hundred percent which is the bottom so this is the bottom left corner this is the bottom right corner this is the uh, bottom right corner again you see same thing and this is the bottom left corner. Uh, um, let, let me do a, a quick a quick visual illustration. This is a uh, tool called Clippy um, that's super uh, handy for setting up clip paths. Uh, so here is a clip path that's the full size of the box. But if we move this down here and this down here, you can see um, what what David's what David's talking about. Well, imagine that's a hundred percent. I could <laughs> get the drag handle there. Um, so all of those little handles are moved down uh, to the to the very bottom, and then when when we go to expand them, um, they'll they'll go back up to the the full size there. Mm -hmm. That's a so you could visual. you could see here I changed them to um, I changed it to fifty percent ah, so yeah. just to visualize where they are, and so when you check them, they will just go back up to their zero. So y equals zero means the very top. So if we change these back to 100%, that means the very bottom. So basically, we are clipping each of these uh, after pseudo elements from the bottom to the top once the uh, radio button is checked. And that's how you do a uh, filling clip animation for radio buttons. Well, so uh, the the input checked uh, that that's a, a pseudo or what is it a status. Uh, what's the what's the proper pseudo name? Pseudo selector. Pseudo selector. Status, yeah. Pseudo states something or other. Right. So whenever mm -hmm. this whenever this radio button is checked, then the the after on that span is going to be the full the full clip path there, and we have a transition applied to it so that 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 clip path is is animated. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's this transition clip path here. Yeah, uh, if you want to see more of, of how we built that out, uh, we've got the, the full live video. Uh, but we'll, we'll cover another, another little piece um, that's, that's related to all this, the, the kind of text clipping you see uh, throughout the, the full thing. Um, I think probably the best place to cover that is the, is the email one. Um, that might be that yeah. pretty straightforward. So looking at uh, input type equals email, that set up. Okay, so we've got the email input um, with transition property transform. When we're on uh, data state equals talk, that's just this first one here. You can see our, our state indicator up here. Uh, the, the input itself is translated off 100%. Um, and we have overflow hidden on, on that, that parent, um, that label there, right? Whatever that is, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, yeah la so the, label the labels are overflow yeah. hidden. Um, so mm -hmm. this label wrapper, and then uh, the data state is telling it to be translate y 100%. Uh, and then when we transition to uh, data state equals email, it's just going to uh, be transform. I don't, I don't know where you set that up. Oh, I guess, I guess the default state is transform none. Yeah. So uh, we don't even have a have a transform for that. Yeah. So you could be explicit about it. In fact, it's better to be. <laughs> I was just lazy. But but basically, anytime you see that that uh, text clipping effect 
you know, it's if it's just regular text, there's some kind of span wrapping it, and then the parent of that is is overflow hidden, and then you can um, easily reveal the text by uh, bringing it in from essentially off screen of its of its parent element there. And so that's a that's a great way to do it. You can see more about how we did the radio buttons like that as well, um, use, uh, using the full live video. So go back and, and check that out.